it's Camille from Camille I Am. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and if you don't like to go out for Valentine's because of the crowds and the reservations, then I have the perfect idea for you to make a Valentine's dinner at home. I wanted to do this idea because we are going to Japan in a couple of months and I also really love sushi. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make heart-shaped sushi and this will be perfect for your Valentine. But before we start this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below letting me know what your Valentine's plans are and let's get on to the video. First you need to prepare your sushi rice. I found the sushi rice in the Asian store of the grocery store and I'm placing two cups of it into a strainer. Rinse the rice in the sink. You are doing this to remove some of the starch off of the rice. So just keep moving it around in your strainer and rinsing it off until the water is no longer murky and it starts to run clear. Put the rinsed rice into a saucepan and then turn up the heat on a really low setting and we're just going to wait until we start to see bubbles form in the water. Once you start seeing the bubbles forming around the middle and the sides, you're going to reduce your heat a little bit. And then I'm just placing a tea towel on the top of my pot and then also placing the lid on as well and wrapping my tea towel around the lid. This just makes for a good seal and a really good steamed rice. Let your pot sit like that for 10 minutes and when you uncover it, you will have perfect sushi rice. Sushi rice is usually flavored with a couple of ingredients, so I'm adding 1 fourth of a cup of seasoned rice vinegar, 3 tablespoons of white sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to mix that all together and microwave it for 30 seconds so that it warms up and all of the ingredients dissolve. Now I'm putting my sushi rice into a bowl. It was still really hot so it kind of steamed up my camera lens, but I actually thought it looked kind of cool. And then I'm just pouring the rice vinegar mixture over the top and mixing it all in. Since this is for Valentine's Day, I thought it would be really fun to make the rice pink. So I'm just taking some raspberries and placing them into a strainer. Then with a spoon, I'm pushing them into the strainer to get all the juice out without the seeds. mixture over the rice and mix it in and now you have super easy pink sushi rice and I really love the flavor of the sushi rice with the raspberries it's really good now you can start prepping the ingredients for the middle of your sushi I'm actually just doing a vegetable roll for this video but you can always add your favorite kind of fish or other ingredients to the middle of your sushi so I'm just peeling a cucumber and a carrot cucumber I'm going to slice it into some really even shapes that are about the size of a matchstick. the same thing with the carrots, slicing them up really evenly and making them about the size of a matchstick again. And the last vegetable that will be in the inside of my sushi is an avocado, so I'm just peeling it and slicing it into really thin pieces. start rolling our sushi so I am starting off by covering my whole sushi mat with plastic wrap. Taking some sushi rice make sure that it is fully cooled and you're gonna start pushing it into the mat making a rectangular shape. I'm just placing it right next to the rice to kind of compare size. I actually had to add a little bit more to this, but it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of eyeball it. Once your rice is the right size, place your seaweed sheet on top of the rice and start filling your sushi roll. Make sure that it's not centered, but a little bit off to one side. When you're ready, you can start 
start rolling by folding your sushi mat over your roll and then kind of just moving it up and rolling it as you go. This process can be kind of hard to explain and a little bit intimidating, but it's actually really easy and you should totally try it out. This roll is not going to be a normal sushi roll because it's going to be a teardrop shape. To make the teardrop shape, you're going to take one sushi roll that you have already rolled out normally. Then you're going to fold the sushi mat back over the sushi roll and start pushing it down on one end and kind of shaping it into a teardrop shape with your hands. Don't worry if you don't get the shape right the very first time because you can always just fold back over the sushi mat and keep shaping it until it's perfect. Now with a really sharp chef's knife, you can start slicing the sushi. The best way to make sure that each piece of sushi is even is to first cut off the ends. These are usually not used because they're not very pretty. Then slice the remainder of your roll in half and then slice the halves in half until you have a bunch of sushi sized pieces. Place two pieces of the teardrop shaped sushi next to each other and kind of mold them together and shape them into a heart. to conjoin them I just cut a strip of the seaweed paper and I'm wrapping it around the edge of the whole sushi and that is all you have to do for this heart shaped sushi if your Valentine is a sushi lover then you have to do this for them it would be so perfect and I'm pretty sure they would be really impressed with you I hope you enjoyed this heart-shaped sushi tutorial. Before you leave, make sure to check out my social media in the description below. And also, if you try this out, make sure to tag me in your photos. I would love to see you recreate this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!